Good morning, grade 6. Welcome back to our math class. Can you decode the rebus at the right? I will give you 5 seconds. Go. And the answer is crossroad. Now get your math book. Open on pages 81 to 83. Multiply fractions. Sasha still has four fifths of a scarf left to knit. If she finishes one half of the remaining part of the scarf today, how much of the scarf will Sasha knit today? To solve the problem, we need to multiply one half and four fifths, and then we will write the product in simplest form. To multiply fractions, just multiply their numerators and multiply their denominators. So multiplying the numerators will give us 4, and multiplying the denominators will give us 10. Now we have 4 over 10. Get the GCF of 4 and 10 so we can simplify this fraction. And what do you think is the GCF of 4 and 10? Very good! That is 2. So the numerator will be divided by 2 and the denominator will be divided by 2 as well. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. That means... The simplest form is 2 fifths. So 1 half times 4 fifths is equal to 2 fifths. Now what if we have mixed numbers like 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 2 thirds? What do you think should we do first? Okay, that's a good guess. But if you have mixed numbers and you will multiply them, then you have to change them first to fractions or to what we call improper fractions and to do that we have to multiply the denominator by the whole number and then add the numerator that will be the new numerator and then copy the same denominator so what does it mean let us do it we have 4 times 1 that is 4 plus 1 is 5 and then, I told you, copy the same denominator, which is 4, times 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, over the same denominator, which is 3. Now, we have fractions here. We can multiply them by multiplying their numerators over the product of their denominators. So, that will be 5 times 5 over 4 times 3. 5 times 5 is 25 and 4 times 3 is 12. So the answer will be 25 over 12. Now as you can see 25 here is in the numerator and that is greater than the denominator which is 12. So we can change it to mixed number by dividing our numerator by the denominator. Now what do you think should be our whole number from 25 over 12 how many 12 can we get from 25 you're right there are two 12s from 25 and two 12s is equal to 24 right so our whole number will be 2 and then we know that two 12s is 24 if we take it from 25 then how many will be left very good there will be one left and then we will have the same denominator now this is the mixed number form of 25 over 12 how will you know if you do it correctly then let us check 12 times 2 is 24 plus 1 is 25 is that correct how about the denominator Yes, just copy the same denominator. Now, let us evaluate this expression. So, we have 4 fifths plus the quantity of 6 times 3 eighths. We have a grouping symbol here. 
So we have to perform the operation inside the grouping symbol first before we do the other operations. So let's copy 4 fifths plus 6 times 3 eighths. 6 here is a whole number. It's over 1. Then think how we multiply fractions. So that will be 6 times 3 over 1 times 8. That will be 4 fifths plus 6 times 3 is 18 and 1 times 8 is 8. So this will now be 4 fifths plus 18 over 8. Now, our denominators are different. And to add the fractions, we have to have the same denominators. So how are we going to do that? We are going to write equivalent fractions using a common denominator. So that will be 4 times 8 over 5 times 8. This is our 4 fifths. And we just multiply the numerator and the denominator by the other denominator. And then we have 18 times 5 over 8 times 5. This is from 18 over 8, this one. And we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the other denominator. Look at this now. Our denominator here will be 5 times 8 or 40. And for this fraction, our denominator will be 8 times 5 or 40 also. So, that is our goal. To have the same denominators. Now, let us simplify this. 4 times 8 is 32 over 5 times 8 is 40. Plus, 18 times 5 is 90 over 8 times 5 is 40. Now, as you can see here, our denominators are the same. That means we can proceed to addition. And how do we add fractions? Do you still remember? Okay, we will add the numerators. So, 32 plus 90 will give us 122. And then, copy the same denominator. Do not add the denominators, okay? Just copy the same denominator, and that is 40. Now, let us simplify 122 over 40. To do that, we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. So, that will be 2. 122 divided by 2 is 61 over 40 divided by 2 is 20. Now, write this as a mixed number. How many 20s can you take from 61? Very good. There are 3. 3 20s is equal to 60, isn't it? So, taking away 60 from 61 will leave us 1. And then, copy the same denominator. So, that means our expression is equal to 61 over 20 or 3 and 1 over 20. The quantity of 3 fourths minus 1 half times 3 fifths. So subtract first, 3 fourths minus 1 half will be 3 fourths minus 2 fourths times 3 fifths, and that will be 1 fourth times 3 fifths, and the 1 third plus 4 ninths times 12. So we will multiply first, it will be 1 third times 16 thirds, and then, the final answer will be 17 thirds, 5 eighths times 7 tenths minus 1 fourth. Multiply first, that will be 7 over 16 minus 1 fourth. Change it to same denominator, so 7 sixteenths minus 4 sixteenths, and that will be 3 sixteenths. 3 times the quantity of 5 eighteenths plus 1 sixth plus 2 fifths. That will be 3 times 5 eighteenths plus 3 eighteenths plus 2 fifths. It will be 3 times 8 eighteenths plus 2 fifths. Multiply first, it will be 4 thirds plus 2 fifths. Then changing the denominators will be 20 over 15 plus 6 over 15. And adding them will give us 
26 over 15 or I hope you learned a lot today. And if you do, can you sing with me? We learned a lot today. We learned a lot today. We are all happy now. We learned a lot today. Do not forget to do your homework. Page 85, numbers 2 to 7.